what's up guys i hope you're all doing great now i want to thank the lord for the life of whoever that is watching this video today i received this email on the first of july from a sister called deborah and you know the lord has given her a couple of visions this year that she wants to share with us and this actually has to do with a darkness that is coming into the world and then also a prophecy about some states of America. So I strongly believe that this is a very important message that we need to know, most especially in these times. However, we also need to, you know, pray to God, take this message into the hands of God and seek discernment. Okay, so I just want you to stay tight to listen to this message while I read it out. But before then, I want to use a few moments to do this. Okay. I never thought of saying this in this video. I am actually recording this video on the 7th of July. And this is a Sunday morning. Like I said, I never thought of saying it, but it just bumped into me when I clicked on the recording button that I have to share this message with someone. Okay. But anyway, if you're not interested, just, you can just keep the video ahead and then get to the main topic of the video. Now, I, I honestly feel within me that someone is watching this video that is going through difficult times or hard times. And I just want to tell you that, you know, if you're thinking of giving up, you don't have to. Okay. You don't have to because you don't know the next minute is going to be your breakthrough. Okay. The next minute is going to be your shine. Yes. That is what I feel like, you know, telling you that do not try to give up whatever you're going through. If that sickness, if that burden on you has been so severe that you want to give up in life, I feel like someone is watching this video that wants to end it all. You want to take your life because you can't bear the trauma. You can't bear the hardship anymore, any longer. It's been long. You've been waiting on the Lord, but you know, you, you just want to end it all because you know, you're fed up with the world. You're fed up in life and you feel like it's not worth it anymore. So you want to end up your life. I don't know, but I'm very sure that there is a reason why you decided to watch this video before taking such action. But God is telling me to tell you that you don't have to do that. Okay. I don't usually do this. I don't usually do this, but I don't know. I strongly believe this message is for someone, just one particular person watching this video. It doesn't matter the number of, you know, people watching this video, but I feel that there's one person among the viewers that are watching this video that wants to end his or her life. I don't know the person, but God is telling you that just hold on and wait for the next minute okay because the next minute might change everything of your story and you will never be the same okay just trust in the lord look up to jesus and he's going to change your story don't give up okay all right thank you very much so i um if this is your first time watching a video on this channel this is a christian based channel and all we do is to share the messages that God gives to our dear brothers and sisters. And also we learn more about God. So you can feel free to subscribe and also make sure you share this video with your friends and family so that they may also receive the message of the Lord. I'm going to read this message the same way it was sent to me. No part has been taken out and nothing has been added to the story. If you have any message from the Lord, if you have any vision, if you have any testimony you would want to share with our Christian community, uh, as I'm recording this video, we have almost about 300,000 subscribers. I want to thank everyone who have subscribed to this channel. God richly bless you for whatever you've done. It is a support. You subscribing to this channel is actually a support. Okay. So you, if you have any message you want to share with these 300,000 people that have subscribed to this channel, just feel free to pick up the email address below and then narrate it in a form of a video or an audio and send it in. Now, once I receive permission from the Lord, I'm also going to put your message on the channel. Okay. All right. So just stay tuned as I proceed with the reading. Hello. Reading. Hello, my name is Deborah. I have been having dreams and visions. 
I have been compelled to tell them. I am not anyone of great importance. I just love the Lord Jesus Christ and I pray that everyone will pray for discernment. Dream 1, Darkness Dream, June 2024. The setting was at an old job of mine. I turned to leave, but there was an obstruction blocking the exit. Two women climbed over the rocks, but to me, it looked like very unstable, like it was going to collapse. So I asked other people if there was another way to get to my car. They said to take the elevator and go through the hospital. So I walked through the hospital and saw a friend from high school. I asked her, how do I get to the parking garage? She said, follow me because I am going there. As we were climbing down on the side of the stairs, because there was a blockage on the stairs also. She went down first. Then I started to go down behind her. There was a man coming down behind me also. When I turned around, my friend was running extremely fast and other people were also. I noticed that it was getting dark and dark faster. So the people that were behind me went back into the hospital. We knew that it wasn't safe if we were caught in the darkness. Prior to this dream, God has been telling me about the three days of darkness. The next one is a vision. Extended darkness. The setting was at this lady's house in the front yard. She was going to jail. She had a dog, but nobody would be there to take care of the dog when she was in jail. I asked the police if the dog could be placed somewhere until she got out. The police took the dog. I got in the taxi and the driver turned around and told me that I would be going to bed at 6 o'clock. They were going to want to extend the darkness. God has been dealing with me about getting a dog because they can sense things that we can't. Plus, the 23rd Psalms is very powerful scripture for protection. The next encounter is also a vision. Exodus. I wasn't standing alone. I was in New York in this vision. I just knew that I was there. I saw water. The ocean divided. And the sun and death that was under the water was all even. No drop-offs. The people, mixed multitude, were running through the divided water on the dry land. I even saw a navy ship to my right looking at us. I had a bird's eye view when I saw Obama on the ship. I knew that this was the Exodus. We serve the same God, an unchanging God. What he did before, he will do it again. The next vision, sound the alarm now, June 2024. I saw Washington DC being cut off from the United States. Caesars were used to cut it from the land. New York will be connected by a little landmass, not all the way severed from the United States. Florida will be ripped from the United States and will be underwater. The last vision, parallel dimension. I saw two worlds that looked almost the same, just a slight difference. I saw spiritual warfare fighting between the two worlds and then I saw the spirit world come completely over to our world. No division. Don't forget to stock up on water and plant a garden even if it's small. I pray all have a blessed day and continue to pray for one another. God is soon to return. There is no time to waste. Take every day like it's our last. All right, thank you very much for joining me to the end and then listening to the message of Sister Deborah, okay? Now, we all know that the kingdom of God is at hand. The Lord is returning any moment soon, okay? And you know, the Bible had already talked about this, that in the end times when uh, the return of Jesus Christ draw nearer, the world will be faced with a whole lot of distractions and disasters so I believe that God gave this information to this woman so that most especially the people of America based in these states 
will know what to do. Okay. We need to pray and then also take this message to the Lord to seek discernment. And like I always say, while these things haven't happened yet, we still have the opportunity to seek repentance and then seek salvation in our Lord. If you're watching this video, wherever you are in the world, if you haven't sought for forgiveness, come out from your sins now and then seek repentance because the kingdom of God is at hand. And if Jesus should return today and you're still in your sins, there is no way he's going to take you along to heaven. Okay, so if you want to experience the love of Jesus Christ and if you also want to experience the eternal peace that God is going to give to us, then come out from your sins right now and seek salvation in our Lord Jesus Christ. These are the two most important things that you need to do so that you can have a solid relationship with Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is calling on everyone. It doesn't matter your race. It doesn't matter your country. It doesn't matter whatever you find yourself in. He came into the world to die for everyone and not just for a particular group of people or a certain class of people. Okay, so this is a call to action for those of us that are still living in darkness. We need to come out from the dark world and then come into the light of the world who is Jesus Christ. All right. So wherever you are, I want to thank you for watching this video. And I pray that God will touch you wherever you are. God bless you. Do not forget to share this video with your friends and family. And also make sure you like this video so that it can grow to reach a lot of people. Okay. Thank you very much.